Hello ladies and gents. Now previously I owned a Ducati Scrambler 800 and I absolutely loved that bike but I've always been curious of its bigger brother, the 1100, which is why Rob's hooked me up with the Tribute Pro with this retro styling and evocative graphics to see what I make of it. Now the question is, is bigger always better or is the slightly lighter, smaller, more affordable option enough? In this video I'll give you my favourite parts of each bike and then at the end I'll give you my verdict. Which one would I put my money down on? But before we get started, a massive thanks to Ridge Wallets for sponsoring this video. Now when I'm out on the bike, I like to carry as little with me as physically possible, which is why their wallets are ideal. They take up to 12 cards and you can store some cash on the back with the clip, but the whole thing isn't much bigger than the cards themselves. They're really hard wearing, which is again great for bikers. They come with a lifetime warranty and they're also RFID blocking, which means that nobody can scan your contactless cards without you knowing. Rob hooked me up with this one in matte olive because as you can plainly see, I love me some autumnals, but they've got loads of great colors and designs to choose from. I've also been using their key case for the last few weeks and I have to say that's impressed me just as much. It's slim, discreet, and most importantly silent. And that is important because now I don't jangle like a Christmas elf whilst I'm out with the wife. She has complained in the past. They can hold up to six keys and you can also get this in a variety of different colors. Get the best offer via ridge.com forward slash moto bob and at the time of making this they're offering up to 40% off until December 22nd. Ridge.com forward slash moto bob. Links can be found in the description. Once again our thanks to them for sponsoring this video. Now back to the review. Let's start with how these bikes are similar and the most obvious thing is of course the looks and the styling. They both take off the style of the original 1960s and 70s Scramblers from Ducati. The 1100s come in a more affordable dark edition or you can pay a bit more for the Tribute Pro like we've got here which gives you a more eye-catching colorway and more distinctive graphics. The 800 was updated for 2023 though with a massive selection of color options, nine to be precise. But the more affordable dark edition has unfortunately been discontinued. Apart from that, at a glance they share very similar aesthetics. What I really liked about my bike and what I was glad to see is still in full force on this one is the fact that it feels so simple and raw and stripped back. Part of me wondered whether this would feel like a Ducati monster to ride and I would say that isn't necessarily true. It does feel distinctly different from those bikes. Something else that really drew me to my bike originally was the fact that it was so small and playful. And all right, this is slightly bigger and heavier, but it still feels small and playful compared to other bikes within its category. So why might you want to go for the smaller Scrambler 800? Well, the first point is always gonna be, it is more affordable. The Scrambler Icon 800 has gone up a little in price this year at just shy of 10 grand, but that's still a fair bit less than the 12,800 pounds of the Tribute Pro we've got here, and still almost a couple of grand less than the 1100 Dark Edition. Obviously that price difference speaks for itself, but the Scrambler 800 gives you a little bit more reserve to customize it, put on accessories, and make it a little bit more unique. And it is a really versatile platform. You can go for accessories from Ducati themselves, or you can find a host of them online. New for 2023, the 800 gets an updated 4.3 inch color TFT display, which offers a lot more functionality than the previous generation and more importantly, the 1100 models. Not only can you manage the new riding modes of road and wet, but also there are four levels of traction control available and cornering ABS. It also gets their Wi-Fi connectivity, which opens up the ability to control phone calls, messages and media playback if you're using a Bluetooth headset plus the option to use the navigation app for turn-by-turn -turn navigation prompts on the dash itself. Now, I wouldn't say that the new rectangular TFT screen quite fits the overall aesthetic of the bike as well as the previous generation or the LCD display on the 1100s, but it does offer quite a lot more functionality and there's now an option of an up and down quick shifter accessory. So the 800 clearly wins if you're the type of rider who likes to have all the latest and greatest gadgets and gizmos on board. It's also a slightly smaller and lighter bike. It is slightly shorter in length, slightly shorter in seat height. There's obviously a decent weight saving to be had there. All of that combined can make it feel slightly more playful and maybe a little bit more accessible to certain riders out there. Also, it has slightly higher bars as standard, which does make it easier to stand up on. 
So what is it about the Scrambler 1100 that gets my attention? First point, very obvious, it's the increased power. It's not necessarily the power so much as the torque increase that gets me excited. It's immediately obvious, it also makes its power slightly lower in the rev range, which makes it a really punchy bike. Actually, the other huge benefit to that is when you're on the motorway and you're doing long distances, it will sit at higher speed more comfortably and it still feels like it has more to chase if you do need to overtake. You could argue that the increased weight somewhat negates the benefit to the increased power of this bike, but I have to say, having ridden it this week, it is still very obvious this is a quicker bike. And there is something really nice about having that extra punch. The other thing you generally get with a bigger bike is an upgrade to the brakes and suspension. Again, pretty noticeable on this. You have two Brembo calipers on the front instead of the single caliper you have on the Scrambler 800. You will also notice fully adjustable Marzocchi forks on the front, and those also make a difference. It does give it a slightly firmer, more composed ride. The Scrambler 800 might be a little bit more forgiving, but this is a sportier feel. You also get these lower handlebars, which drag you into a sportier position over the standard versions of the 800. And I have to say, on the road, I definitely prefer them. And we're still talking about somewhat fractional differences, but they do all add up. This is arguably a more comfortable bike to do distance on. Being slightly bigger, slightly longer, having better suspension does make it feel a bit more stable at high speeds. It's also got a slightly more comfortable seat. As I mentioned, more power, most notably in sixth gear when you are on the motorway, you feel like you have that overtaking power that you need. And it feels much less under strain at high speeds, long distance. It has a slightly larger fuel tank, which is gonna be beneficial. When it comes to the instrument cluster, compared to the first gen, Scrambler 800 I owned, they're really very similar. But it's worth noting the 2023 update includes a new TFT display with a lot more functionality and some phone connectivity features. I would also say with regards to comfort, if you are planning on taking a pillion passenger on the bike, the upgrades to suspension and the increased power will be useful. Bonus category, I can confirm Rob was absolutely on the money when he said the 1100s have the best exhaust note. It is slightly deeper and bassier than the 800s. Let me show you. So what is the verdict? Well, as much fun as I had with my Scrambler 800, I have to be honest, if I had my time again, I would be picking the bigger version. The reason being, predominantly I ride on the road and I do a fair amount of distance. So the increased performance and comfort of this bike would be most welcome. Having said that, I can see loads of reasons to go for the 800, especially with the new updates for 2023. We've covered some of them in this video today, but if you want the absolute full lowdown, then click here for Rob's full walk around from the unveiling at this year's Eich Michel in Milan. Thanks for watching and we will see you soon.